Mac, the werewolf, was sitting on the step of my office door when I drove up Monday morning. I kept my face impassive, and showing none of the surprisingly fierce satisfaction I felt, I just handed him a heavy sack of fast food breakfast sandwiches and opened the door. I'd been raised around wild animals. I knew how to tame them. A hearty welcome would send him off faster than harsh words if I judged him correctly. But food was always a good lure. Eat. I set out for the bathroom to change into work clothes. Save me one. The rest are for you. All but one were gone when I came back. Thank you. You'll work it off. Come on, help me get the garage doors up. I led the way through the office and into the garage. There's nothing pending today, so we can work on my project bug. The beetle was unprepossessing at the moment, but when I was finished with it, it would be painted, polished, and purring like a kitten. Then I'd sell it for twice what I had put into it and find another car to resurrect. I made almost half my income refurbishing old VW classics. We'd worked a few hours in companionable quiet when he broke the silence. Can I use the phone? It'll be long distance. Long as it's not to China. I didn't sneak over to the office door to listen. I don't make a practice of eavesdropping on private conversations. I don't have to. I have very good hearing. Hello? It's me. My hearing was not so good, however, that I could hear the person he was talking to. I'm fine, I'm fine. Look, I can't talk long. It's better you don't know. I know. I saw a news report. I don't remember anything after we left the dance. I don't know what killed her or why it didn't kill me. Oh, no. No, look, it's better just now if you don't know where I am. I told you I don't know what happened. Just that I didn't kill her. I just want you to tell mom and dad I'm okay. I I love them, and I'm looking for the ones who killed her. I have to go now. I love you too, Joe. There were a dozen stories that could account for the half of his conversation that I heard. Two dozen. But the most prevalent of the cautionary tales werewolves tell each other is what happens the first time a werewolf changes if he doesn't know what he is. In my head, I translated Max half of the conversation into a picture of a boy leaving a high school dance to make out with his girlfriend under the full moon, not knowing what he was. New werewolves, unless they have the guidance of a strong dominant, have little control of their wolf form the first few times they change. It would also explain why he didn't notice that I was different from the humans around. You have to be taught how to use your senses.